Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. I haven't played this game in like a week. It's been a very long week and I have been attempting to play the Horizon Zero Dawn DLC, which I am like, I've gotten like two and a half hours into. Um, I'm kind of trying to play it simultaneously as uh, this one, but faster. Oh boy, um, so forgive me if I'm just freaking messing up like crazy. I did hear, oh, I heard, is that, short bow, what, that's new, Carter, what? So, okay, yeah, 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 some of the, the DLC, or the digital, digital stuff is apparently in here, in, in the stash. Um, melee, uh, plus one critical strike, where's low health defense, a second chance if I die? If I die, I'll come back. Silent Strike Heal, yo. Oh, is this what um Roth? This this looks. Is this what maybe Roth's outfit was? Tribute to beloved guardian and mentor. Potent medicine, medicine capacity. Silent Strike Heal. Low health, ranged. See, this, this is the coolest looking one, in my opinion, but I prefer archery and stealth. I don't know what some of this stuff means. <laughs> Skill details. Oh, ranged attack. Perfect. You gain a chance to survive a killing blow. Oh. Okay. Let's, uh, let's put that on. Put it on. I just want the one. And weapons. Do I not have this? I'll take it. And I'll take that. And I'll take that. Let's 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 look at stuff. Let's look at this stuff. Outfit, Nora Thunder Elite. Oh, okay, I was like, what? <laughs> no, not tools. Weapons. So I do have it. Nora Legacy Spear. Frost Blast Sling. Nor no, please. Don't make me have to get 80,000 Blast Slings. Or other bows. I can't do it. It's uh, to increase stagger and knockdown power. Oh, okay, but they do give you more weapon slots. That's nice. For now, I guess I will do this. Some of this stuff, inventory-wise, feels a tiny bit unintuitive. The fact that we have to use workbenches is a frustration. Also, the fact that they, and I don't know if I mentioned this already, but they took away your the eyeball that indicates stealth. Not a big, Not a big fan of that at all even when not okay uh -huh. okay i am i as i said before i am at the slightly overwhelmed state of like there's so much to do but i am oh my gosh cool uh, no 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 i want to what Okay, I have to go to the tavern. I don't know where the tavern is. I'm going to assume it's this giant building. There's so much going on. Is this, wait, is this the tavern? What? 
This armor looks really cool. Yeah, 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 tavern. This looks like the tavern that, that you visit in the Mandalorian. Well, not, not you, but the Mandalorian does. Oh my gosh, I thought that was an animal. Uh, talk to you? Hey, Milda. Milda. I took some of your stew last time I went into the wild. It kept me going for a week. Felt like I could have put a strider in a sleeper hole. Enjoy it while it lasts. Sounds like you're serving up some uh, impressive provisions here. Ah, <sighs> not again. You can have the discount too, but you'll have to come back later. I think you have me confused with someone else. Oven didn't send you? No. Oh, my apologies. It's just that his minions won't stop pestering me. <sighs> now I've even worn out my special grill. Since I'm in the midst of a crisis, perhaps you could skip to what it is you wanted? Some of your food? Of course. You, you good? <laughs> Are Alvin's people causing you problems? Oh, yeah. They constantly demand my best, but the equipment I need to make my signature dishes isn't built for batch cooking. And don't get me started on the Olven discount they feel so entitled to. And if you refuse? I make meals, not trouble. How did you end up in Chainscrape? This game is so Heard beautiful. about a new and upcoming town at the edge of the frontier. Where there's a town, there's a tavern. I was in need of work. So I got myself out here and started cooking. Some of these people had never tasted proper boars and berries stew before. Anyway, next thing I knew, people kept coming back. I guess they like my food. <laughs> or the ale. <laughs> your last customer mentioned your cooking really kept him going out in the wild. Where I'm headed, I could use some of that. I would be happy to oblige, especially since you have the decency to ask pleasantly. But... But my special groove griddle is no more. Without it, I can't cook any of my signature dishes. I hate to think what'll happen when I'm forced to refuse Olven or his goons. Even if I already had the right ingredients, there's nothing I can do. Unless you can source me a temporary replacement? What do you need? For the ingredients. A few pieces of decent wild meat, and I'd say a big handful of bitter leaf stems. That'll do. That's As for it? the griddle, a corrugated metal panel might suffice until I can have a new one forged. You'd likely find one in a scrounger pile if you follow the river to the northeast. Don't worry, I'll clean it first. <laughs> You'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way, assuming you're as much a hunter-gatherer as your clothing suggests. Thanks, Milda. <laughs> I'll keep an eye out. So that's what gratitude sounds like. <laughs> and don't let anyone push you around, okay? If you say so. I mean, you can't really expect people to, like, be like you, you know? Where is Petra? What's this? Who are you? Aloy. <gasps> ah, there you Change are! Mind, yeah, I did! Hold on a second. Why not sit down for No, you? not a game. No, no, no. I hate mini games and games. Come for that beer after all, eh? Here! Sit down! They changed Petra's face, Get too. a pint in her hand! Wasn't expecting you to swing what? by. What do you mean? Since when do I do what's expected? Ha! <laughs> There's that spark. Fire and spit! Uh... Fire and spit. I don't think she can drink with that hat on. <sighs> That's a blast from the bellows. Won't fix the forge, but at least I can forget about my troubles for a while. Like what? Take your pick. We got bodies to bury from the bristlebacks, the work stoppage, Olven grading the gears about his concession decree. What? Hey! Weapons off the table! Ah. Don't listen to me. Nothing a cold brew and knocking some heads together can't fix eventually. So the bristlebacks in the daunt. <sighs> Men. Where did they come from? That's the thing. No one rightly knows. They just showed up one day, rampaging around the valley like they exploded out of a forge. <sighs> Lost some good people. 
But I heard talk of some vanguards trying to take him down. Did they come through here? Stopped by briefly for supplies. Ulvind was none too pleased. Why does he have the... Won't be able to crank it to his advantage once the Bristlebacks are gone. But how could Bristlebacks and the Daunt help Ulvind? Two words. Concession decree. Since no one knows where the Bristlebacks came from, Olvind has taken to blaming the Karja for oh, him. Oh, of course. He's hoping to dig up enough old resentments to get a strike going until the concession's signed. This is just his latest attempt. He's been trying to rile up the workers since the day he rolled into town. And people actually believe him? Lots of folks suffered at the hands of the Mad King during the Red Raids. Give him half a reason, they'll blame the Karja for anything. Ah, damn Karja slavers. Hmm. I thought you'd be back in Freeheap. Well, after the big battle at Meridian, I went back. But realized it was running smooth. Didn't need me. Heard about the rebuilding out at Baron Light. Figured they could use another hammer. Been scraping by ever since. You could always leave. And go back east? Nah. I ain't one to leave a lit forge. Besides, someone's gotta be a squeaky wheel for the workers around here. So about Olvind. Around here, everything's about Olvind. How'd he end up in charge? He got here early, like a squirrel smelling a fat nut. He knew rebuilding barren light would need stone and timber. So he jangled purses all over Mainspring, getting investors to front claims on anything in the Daunt that might be worth a damn. Thing is, all the bankers back home know that this is Karja land, and the Sun King can revoke those claims at any time. That's why he's desperate for the Magistrate to sign off on a concession decree. Okay... This concession decree... What is it exactly? And how would it help Can I just punch him in the face? Like... It's pig diddle, that's what. A writ that would put all Osram claims in the Daunt under Osram law, mm. even though they're on Karja land. It would mean that any existing ore, stone, and timber claims couldn't be revoked by the Karja. No more risk, no more hesitation for investors back in the claim to pour in the shards and expand their business. And since Olvind has a stake in all those claims, it would make him richer than a scrapper in a junk heap. Not to mention Chainscrape would become an Osra municipality, so he could buy enough votes to call himself an elder man. Oh my gosh. He's a sly old badger. So... I'll give him that. This is very political. Figures if he keeps up the pressure, eventually the magistrate will sign. This is so political, holy cow. <laughs> like, wow, I just got, pff, just got lore dumped with the politics of the Osram. Also, like, it's, it, it's to the Sun King's advantage to keep, like, a trade route open here. But, like, so I don't think he just shut it down, you know, but, like, he's going to expect money to make it back to his own coffers, like, his own people's coffers, because it's, it's Karja land, you know? And why would you even set up camp? A land that isn't yours. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's there's a risk to that, and you acknowledge that when you went in there. You should try to change it before you get started. I don't know. Well, I uh, I have to be going. Thanks for the drink, Petra. I'm glad I stopped by. Anytime, Flame Hair. That's it. Aloy is so bad at talking to people. She's she's just really terrible at it. <laughs> Let's see, there's got to be more going on in here. What's this? Wait, can I not, not talk to you yet? Have I not unlocked your capabilities? Okay, well. Let's see. I just want to beat this guy up. Like... Can't I just throw him out of town? Obviously I can't, because there's all this political boo ha ha blah 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to do a melee. I hate mini games. I, I hate mini games. I hate. I hate these kind of mini games too. I, the, the the melee things. Don't want to do it. So there's somebody over there who wants me. Somebody in here. But also that was really weird because Petra. Didn't have like an exclamation point on her or anything. So now I'm just a little concerned. I was hoping I would get an actual bow for a weapon, but I didn't. I guess I didn't look closely enough. Huh. 
I didn't want a crossbow, I wanted a bow bow. I want my tear blast arrows back. Give them to me. I'm, I'm trying to... What's in there? There's something in here, I swear. What? Oh, oh geez. What happened to you? That damn mine is what happened to me. <clears throat> It won't be the last injury if Olven keeps shoving those tongs into those tunnels. What mine? Northeast to chain scrape, where the river ends. I told Corvin we should stop when the first cave in happened, but <sighs> Olven probably threatened to cut off our pay. Or worse. How about you slow down and take me through it? I am having a hard time believing a bunch of Osram let this guy just come in and bully them. Like, just toss him out on his butt. You mentioned you were injured in a cave-in. Yeah, <clears throat> a couple days ago. That's how I hurt this blasted leg. <laughs> Corvin and the others were opening a new vein while I was checking on an older one. As soon as their blast hit, Tunnel I was in collapsed. Might have dodged it if I wasn't running on barely a spark of sleep. We are pushing too hard and too fast. And you're afraid Corvin and the others might not be as lucky if it happens again. Mm-hmm. Hit the nail right on the head. Well, that saying has continued on. How come Olven's in charge? Don't these mines belong to the Karja? Try telling Olven that. He brought in all the backing to get them open. Might as well own them. <laughs> Fire and spit. You ask him. He owns us as well. Sounds just as bad as the old Karja. Who's Corvind? He's their foreman, and a damn good one. The kind that knows how to deal with management when it gets unreasonable. But Olvind, <laughs> his demands go beyond unreasonable. Corvind's been doing his best to appease him. He even blamed himself for my injury when it was Olvind who ordered the extra shifts. Sounds like a good guy. That's why we all put up with the long hours and lousy conditions. But if the whole mine becomes unstable, I'd rather suffer Olven's wrath than die buried in rubble. This guy really just... Uh, I, can't, I can't... I could check in on your crew if I'm in the area. I... would appreciate that. Thank you. Just throw him out. Throw him out on his ass. I don't... I don't like him. Let's see, we don't have any exclamation points there. There's this... Inaccessible exclamation point, apparently. What about this one? Then no. you think I forgot and never forget. Ah, finally. Oh, but this is Aha, there I swear I I swear Oland was like standing around here somewhere. That reminds me. We are on the same side here. Oh. The bristlebacks threaten us all. Oh, drop the act. We all know it was the Karja who let the Bristlebacks into the valley. Sent them straight through the gates of Baron Lycol. That is preposterous. Why would we let dangerous machines into our own land? You mean the land that Honest Osram laborers work tirelessly oh boy. with no say in its government? The land that should you sign the decree... Oh, you that damned concession decree. ...would be managed by the people who actually live and work on it. I mean, I can see how his argument has some good points, but like, he's just doing it for his own benefit. He's not doing it for the Osram people. He just wants the money. And he's overworking people. What do you want, Aldunt? Some kind of payment? My dear magistrate, you think I can be bought? If you want that whistle blown, all you have to do is have your soldiers remove the bristlebacks and sign the concession decree. Face it. What other choice do you this have? This man looks very punchable. <clears throat> very punchable. Hi. Savior, what auspicious timing. Might we discuss a matter of importance to the Sundom? We might. Later. Very well. I shall be waiting. So, 
The savior herself. Walloper of Durval, gutter of Hughes. Uh, maybe. I've heard many tales of your beauty and heroics, oh, my fierce lady warrior. <laughs> Olvent Friol, at your service. The brown nosing. So, what could have dragged you away from the fine silks and wine of Meridian to this smudge of a settlement? Oh, he also thinks I signed with your the Karja. Your saviorly attention must be needed elsewhere. He thinks I'm more... I'm here for the embassy and... The embassy? Why, well, uh, by the forge. Ah. Greater gears for greater matters. Guess that means you'll be moving oh, on. Oh, you just want me out of here ASAP. Once I've dealt with any problems around here that need my... Saviorly attention. Ah, the bristlebacks, of course. Got to get rid of them if you want that embassy to take place. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, let's get to it, hey? And off you go. Not so fast. Mm. You don't seem to have a high opinion of the magistrate. Well, I refuse to play nice to some fancy-robed parchment pusher when my fellow laborers are being bullied, intimidated, and taken advantage Only of. Only by you! How noble of you. Oh my gosh! Noble! Ha! Born with a hammer in hand, I was. Mm. Nobody handed me anything or dropped opportunity into my lap. Mm -hmm. Everything I've achieved, I've done on my own. No. And where is this hammer now? Through the labor of others. The, uh, burden of leadership forced me to set it aside. Mm. <laughs> The Karja risk nothing while demanding that good Osram gamble with their lives You're out You're the there. only one doing that. Someone had to step up and say no more. Oh, this is hilarious. It's very indicative of like corporate power play and like middle management, upper management stuff. Like just very, it's very capitalist mindset. Like, you know, like it's just, oh my gosh. I don't know. It's just really... You could you could you could transplant this into like any situation nowadays almost involving like I don't know it's like oh the the great billionaire you know he just worked really hard and didn't have anything handed to him it's like no his dad was literally a millionaire you know and like he's literally making money off of people who are working minimum wage and like in you know not great to terrible working conditions and he could literally afford to pay them more but he's not going to and like this guy is manipulating the entire narrative you ordered the work stoppage indeed i did we're laborers not soldiers and tell the Karja clean up their mess and give us the fair deal we deserve, I'm not risking Osirum lives! Fair deal? You mean your concession decree? <laughs> it's not my decree. It's on behalf of all the good Osirum laborers of this land who do all the backbreaking work while only the Karja reap the rewards. All we're asking for is the ability to share in this prosperity for a land worked by the people for the people. See, those are very right. good words. And just how much would be your share? Only an amount appropriate to my contributions to this community, uh, of course. He literally looks like a down and out, um, like, old comedian, you know, who's like, back in the day when you could be funny, like, he literally looks like that. Like, that's the kind of guy he looks like. If Chain Scrape is on Karja land, shouldn't a Karja be in charge? Who appointed you? The sensibilities of good Osram folk, of course. He's he's playing this. Do you think this. a Karja can head this whole venture? Ah! The magistrate can barely make the trek from Baron Light without losing a few screws. So you have no real authority then. People only follow you because you say so. Loudly. Anyone who has followers has authority. I've been with Chain Scrape from the beginning. I mean, I'm practically its founder, and its honest folk know I'm indispensable to its success. I really think it would do okay without you. You said you founded Chainscrape. Somehow I doubt that. Practically founded, mm. I see. <laughs> I alone saw its potential when it was just a smattering of tents in barren light shadow. I invested in the mine, convinced some friends back home to do the same, and here we are. I bet you it was a woman who actually founded it. You could say it. Chain Scrape is what it is, thanks to me. Guaranteed. Oh, so you're not just standing around and profiting off everyone else? Not at all. <laughs> sure, I make a not little return on my investment here and there, but my main priority, as it was from the beginning, is to look after the well-being of these honest, working Osram. 
Look at that face. He was like, I've been said, I've said this phrase so many times. And he's acting for the surrounding people. And he's using the phrases that are like, you know, we, you know, by the sweat of our brow and blah, 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 you know. Like, he's doing the stuff like that that really hits it with, like, the common working people. But, like, you just have to pay attention that, like, it's, it's not, it's not actually in your best interest to let this guy do what he wants. You know what I mean? It's very, um, dare I say, Trump-esque with a lot of the, like, working class thing he pretended to have, like, that he pretended to, like, you know, try to appeal to, like, the working class person. It's like, the man had gold toilets, like, he, he has nothing in common with you, he doesn't care about you, like, but he said the words that people wanted to hear, so they followed him. Where's the whistle? Right in the middle of town, but with the threat out there, I'm not endangering innocent Osram lives. I'm going to clear out the bristlebacks. And when I'm done, this valley is gonna get moving. If that's what it takes. Until then, I'll keep looking after the safety of these good folk. Just be ready to blow the whistle. I'm gonna blow the whistle. Yeah, jerk. Also, the fact- Let me see what that Karja magistrate wanted. I bet he's in the tavern. The magistrate wouldn't be in the tavern. Maybe he would. Um. Shoot, what was I thinking? Um, so, me clearing out the bristlebacks, I feel like is something he wouldn't want me to do because that's one of the contingencies he has for his little concession decree. But he does want me out of town because he knows I'm here to like, you know, I could potentially be here to like, upset, upset the corruption going on here. Savior. Thank you for taking the time, and my condolences that you had to endure all the bloviating. <laughs> I've dealt with worse. It sounds like he's really trying to put you over the barrel. The idea that the Karja purposely let Bristlebacks into the dawn, it's... It's completely absurd. But the louder and longer he says it, the more support he'll get for his damned concession decree. How did the Bristlebacks get into the dawn? No one knows for sure. The first report of them came from west of the quarry. But unless they have wings I don't know about, I don't see how they could have come over the mountains. No other way in. The only way I know about is barren light. Look, if you can get to the bottom of this, I can offer a considerable bounty in return. Help me shut Olvent up. Gladly. Gladly, 100%. <laughs> what is this concession decree that Olvent wants? He wants the Sundom to designate portions of the Daunt as Osaram Holdings. Only the portions, mind you, that produce any value. Let me guess, because he stands to profit somehow? Exactly. With the Daunt under Osaram law, he could secure more investment for their numerous ventures. He can't get those investments without the concession? No. Not while there's a chance the Sundom could revoke their access. Look at Karja investment. Hence why the concession is so important to he him. He only wants Osram investment. And why blaming the Karja for the bristlebacks, no matter how absurd, works in his favor. These people's faces are ama amazing. They're just amazing. How does blaming the Karja for the bristlebacks help Olven get his concession? We already talked about Look this. Look around. <laughs> this may be the Sundom, but... Chain scrape is all gears and rust and bad air. <laughs> Claiming that the Karja loosed the bristlebacks in order to intimidate Osaram laborers into obedience. Well, let's just say no one here has forgotten the atrocities of the mad Sun King. And with the bristlebacks bringing work in the valley to a halt, Alvunt has plenty of time to pick at barely healed wounds. And if the Osaram refuse to work, unless the concession is signed, you won't have a choice. Correct. The reconstruction of Baron Light must oh, continue. Oh, okay, that's what it is. I was confused, because I'm like, it, it's an, uh, if the Osaram stop working, it only harms the Osaram, necessarily. Like, I don't see what the Karja, like, I mean, obviously they'd probably be making money from this town in some way, but it's mostly an Osaram town, so it's only hurting the Osaram, I thought. But they need the Osram here to help continue building their life. Okay. How did you get stuck out here? I asked for the posting, believe it or not. 
overseeing the entire valley on behalf of the Sun King? It was an honor. Is an honor, I mean. But your job would be a lot easier without someone like Ulvind blasting hot air all the time? Ulvind's not going anywhere. He's been around longer than I have. Even fancies himself the founder of Chainscream. <sighs> oh, I'll find a way to live with him. I have to. How did you get stuck out here? I asked for the posting, oh, wait, oh. overseeing the mm. It was. But your job, like Alvin. Alvin. He's been around. Oh, I'll f I have to. You said the bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry? Yes, according to one terrified laborer, said the ground trembled before they came charging down the hillside. He took off and ran all the way here. Good place to start looking then. If you learn the truth, maybe Ulvant will stop blaming the Karja for every problem under the sun, and maybe then he'll actually focus on rebuilding Baron Light instead. Hmm. We just got thrown right into the politics of like the frontier, and like this was not what I was expecting, but here we are. <laughs> oh boy, frontier living, am I right? Anyway, I'm going to call it here. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. I am going blank. I would like to thank my patrons, all of them, but especially my treat, my sapling tier patron, Reese Galito. Thank you so much for your support. And Christopher, my tree tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. You're the super bestest, and I really appreciate it. So thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.